Hi, I'm Andy Jones, Content Editor for Plaid's online education program, Let's Paint. Today, I'm going to show you a few special ways that you can load a round brush for some interesting techniques. We're going to load our round brush, and you don't ever want to dive right into the middle of your puddle of paint. Always start at the edge and pull paint away, creating a loading zone, and pat the brush down so that you spread the bristles out, and when you pick the brush up, it will pull the paint up into the brush. Load the brush until it's nice and full of paint. And if you're going to do a brush stroke, you want to make sure that you have a little extra bead of paint right at the end of your brush. So you get a nicely rounded head, and then lift and drag to a point. Now, we're going to put two colors on our paintbrush now. So I'm going to wipe out the brush, rinse it off, and we're going to tip the brush with color. I'm going to load the brush first with my blue, my Brilliant Ultramarine Folk Art Acrylic. Then I'm just going to come to my paper towel and I'm going to wipe the excess paint off of the very tip of the brush. Brush is still full of paint, but I've just taken the paint off of the tip. Now I'm going to come back to my puddle of light color and I'm going to scoop up a little bit of paint onto the brush. And when I go to make my brush stroke, I'm going to put that color down and touch, apply pressure, and you can see that color streak through the brush stroke. This is a nice way to get some variation in your brush strokes so they don't all have to be a solid color. Another thing we can do is to put color side by side on the round brush. So let's rinse out our brush. Now I'm going to stroke the brush to the edge of the puddle of paint. And notice that I'm putting a lot of pressure on the brush to spread the bristles out. Move to a clean spot on the palette and blend the color across the brush. Then with my other color, stroke next to the edge of the puddle of paint. Then come blend on the palette. And you can see that we're creating a nice range of blue colors across the brush. Can flip the brush over. So I wanna make sure that there's paint all through the bristles. Come stroke into the edge of the white paint. This takes a little bit of practice and you have to pay attention to what's happening on the brush and on the palette. If your paint seems to be dry, you can touch your brush into the water. Then remember to blot the brush on the paper towel to take off the excess water and then come back and continue to load. You want to make sure the brush is full of paint. So just continue to load the brush by stroking into the edge of the puddle of paint Paying attention as you flip the brush from side to side. Again, if you need to add water, you can. Then blot on your paper towel and come back to the palette. And then when your brush is fully loaded, you can do a brush stroke. Touch, apply pressure, pull, and lift to a point. And that's a very fancy comma stroke. So three different ways to load the brush. Solid color, tipped color, and double loaded. You need to practice all three methods and do lots of brush strokes until you're completely comfortable with this technique. 